Hi, I'm Pete Warden, and over the next couple of hours I'm going to show you how to solve big data problems with MapReduce. The first thing is to decide if MapReduce is the right tool for your job. What's MapReduce good for anyway? Its core strength is that it minimizes seeks across large data sets. What does that mean in practice? The problem that first drove me to use MapReduce was a database loading operation. I had billions of input files representing hundreds of millions of people with multiple files for each person. At first the database loading was very fast, but after a while performance fell off a cliff. The first time it came across a file representing a particular person, the database could simply append a row representing that person to the end of the file holding the people table. Physically, the disk egg could remain fairly stationary over that location and the data could be written out at a high rate. What happens when a second file representing that same person is encountered later though? We need to merge the information from the first and second files, which means the disk head has to move to the location the original row was written to, read it out, and then move back to the end of the file to write the merged version. Each disk seek could take tens of milliseconds, so I was suddenly limited to only 50 or 100 files per second. The obvious answer was to sort my input data so that all of the information for a single person was collected together to eliminate those painful disk seeks. That sort is the heart of MapReduce. It forces you to write your algorithm in two stages. First, declaring what data you need grouped together for your calculations, which a framework then sorts into those groups and passes to your second stage, the reduce function, the part that actually performs the calculations. So, think of MapReduce whenever you're hitting performance problems with large data sets. Very often you'll be able to drastically speed up your process by increasing the locality of your access patterns, which brings benefits from the micro scale of more frequent CPU cache hits to the big picture of distributing your calculations across a cluster of machines.